So back up at Naomi's house today, uh, got a few bits to do. She's uh, noticed there's a leak coming down one of the chimneys uh, and there's already a cowl on there, so I'm assuming there's a crack in the pot. Uh, there's some lead flashing to fix and a load of other jobs in the house. So dogs come with me. I've got pretty much the full day and we'll see how much we get done. So here are the two chimney pots. Now one of those is leaking down into the bedroom fireplace. You can see both of them have got cowls on. One's got like a mushroom top, um, but it's still leaking. So I think there must be a crack or something that needs uh, fixing up there. So we'll have a look at that. Here's one part we need to have a look at in the future. This is, I guess where an old coal chute or something would have been down to the cellar. Uh, someone has put a, a kind of a prism of windows over it, which uh, brings a nice bit of like a light well down into the cellar. Uh, but it's not watertight, and as you can see, there's quite a lot of gr growth of weeds and stuff in the cellar side itself. So we're going to tidy all that up in the future, maybe reglaze it, and make that cellar a bit more usable. Okay, so we're making a list of all the jobs we're going to do. Name is camera woman for the day. Um, so a couple of things. One is the dishwasher to fit. Is that right? Yeah. Br brand new dishwasher. So we'll do that in a minute. Uh, then we're going to go and f uh, hire a roof ladder. Can we get up on the roof, uh, sort out a leak coming down the fireplace in this room, is it? The yeah, chimney. in the bedroom. Uh, that's it, isn't it? And the one at the back. Ah, and the lead flashing, yeah. So this part, we've kind of, it's quite easy to see, this is an extension to the house. So it's a really old house, and this is the old external wall, which probably would have been like a window here. Um, so this was done probably within the last decade, I guess. Yeah. Um, and so it's fairly well insulated and this is done to kind of modern standards whereas the older type problems you can get in buildings we're dealing with this side but here where they've joined the extension into the house there's lead flashing and I'll get some footage up there but they just haven't tied it into the wall um, really well so it's not kind of finished to the, to the render above uh, so we're going to have to go along there temporarily we're going to seal that uh, which should be fine there's water creeping down behind the lead at the moment uh, but in the future it may be that we take the lead out and then rechase it into the wall um, and do a, maybe a more thorough job on that. Okay, so right up the top there you can see there's a bit of water damage and that's, it's just that need to stretch isn't it, where it's leaking yeah. I think. Um, and I went up last time and poured a bottle of water there and, and we could see where it was coming through uh, and where it's kind of trickling behind the lead. So I'll, I'll focus on this section but if we get a chance we'll run the seal uh, sealant all the way along. Uh, just to cover our backs. Okay, so as you can see, really nice old original joinery still in, or at least over this side, these thin spindles, unlike our house where it all been ripped out, so um, that's really nice to see. A lot of original features are still here. Um, so the fireplace in question is this one here, which is like an exposed uh, brick fire uh, chimney brass. But here's the evidence of the leak. Um, not sure if we can make out what's going up here with the camera. So at the top there you can see the bottom of the cap. Um, so you've got one of those like mushroom caps with the holes on, the terracotta ones, all clay. But just to the side of that, there's a little crack and you can see some light coming through. So that's the only place I can really see that the rain's coming in. Uh, so we're, the only way we're going to be able to sort that is to get up there, take some mortar up and see what we can do to patch or fix that. <laughs> So this is the under sink cupboard, this is where we came off the um, cold feed for the washing machine um, and we had to take this off, this splitter which uh, obviously used to supply the dishwasher and the washing machine so that needs to go back on, hopefully the washer's are right in there. But uh, this T up here is just uh, not right. I don't know if it's a, some sort of push fit. I haven't come across it before, it's copper, um, but it's, it's leaking on this down uh, part of the pipe here. So we're gonna replace that T and then come off and put our splitter to go off to the appliances. So we'll lock that off um, and then we can drain it down and Change it with that T, that should be a bit more reliable.
Right, we just need to put this splitter on here. Okay, water's back on, down in the cellar. No leaks. Uh, the waste connected up to the trap now. And then with that splitter underneath that goes off to the washing machine, um, that all looks fine. So I'm going to try and wiggle it in. And then once it's in, we'll adjust the face at the front. I've been up on the roof, uh, there's just loads of kind of bud shops where people have siliconed the cracks. So I'm going to try and pick out some of that and kind of re haunch around the chimney pots. Again, I think it's going to be a one year fix and really it needs to be uh, stripped back and repointed and done nicely. But uh, we'll get back up there again, we're going to mix up some water, see how it goes. So I'll call that a success for now until we uh, have any rain. Uh, so I've replaced the, that kind of haunching or added to it, the haunching around the pots and sealed it all up. Can't see any cracks and we also, uh, Naomi went down into the bedroom and looked up before we could see the crack. So what I did is I actually covered up all the vent, uh, vent holes on the uh, mushroom cowl top. Um, which are meant to be there uh, to see if there was any additional light coming through from cracks and there wasn't what we got done that day and uh, it was a few months ago uh, quite a few months back when we did that um, but watching the footage back um, everything I did there with regards to fixing the leaking chimney and the flashing at the back um, I don't th I don't know if they were picked up on the survey but it just shows that you know even a, a regular survey unless they're actually up on the chimney stack looking all that bodge job or that clear silicon that had obviously been patched in the past numerous times by the look of it none of that shows up on a survey really um, no surveyor is going to crawl over a house in that much detail especially on top of the roof so it just shows there's always some hidden faults um, I'd say my fix will probably buy uh, at least a couple of years up there but looking at the roof it might be that it does need a re-roof at some point the sort of fibre cement um, slates up there don't look like they're in that great condition and there was quite a few cracks in that ridge tile which I fixed. That grey silicon lead sealant, um, it, it's good stuff. Uh, it seems to be well suited to that type of thing but I, it's got to be used 
as a short-term solution, I think. So really that needs to be done properly. And again, that uh, haunching around the chimney pots, ideally I, that should be chipped off uh, completely uh, and re-bed those down, repoint the chimney stack, you know, and then you're buying uh, extra decades rather than just extra years. And then the other thing was that lead flashing at the back of the house. Now that was just, I can't imagine that it was done properly to start with. I don't think it goes into the to the wall anywhere near deep enough that it hasn't been chased in properly. Um, and just where it met that windowsill. I mean, watching that footage, why, why would you, surely you'd go underneath the windowsill uh, where it joins in to the house there, just make the, the pitch of the roof slightly different. Uh, going, lapping over the top of that original stone windowsill is just asking for trouble because that's the only place, you know, they didn't chase the lead in there, so anyway. Oh, wound me up a little bit watching it. Um, another thing was, there was also a soil pipe that was kind of flashed, had some sort of uh, roof seal uh, rubber boot around it, around it, but it was just flash band, I think, you know, around it. So I think that was another weak spot where it was leaking. So again, I had to kind of just spot any areas that there was potential issues there and try and rejoin it and use that sealant. But I really think that that's another job that needs to be done properly. And you know, then you really don't have to worry about it. You don't want every time it rains to be concerned about what's going on on your roof. Um, I've had that here for the last three or four years, but anyway, so I hope you enjoyed that little insight. Um, like I said, it was a few months ago and there's plenty more projects up at that house. I'm sure we can get stuck into, uh, as and when we're needed. So thanks for watching. Remember if you can do it yourself and we'll see you in the next video.